Hi, my name's Stephen from Silver to Love, and we get asked on a very regular basis, um, what is a barometer? How does it work? How is that thing going to predict the weather? Particularly as um, this model here, as uh, all our Woodford barometers, uh, don't take any batteries. They haven't got any electronics in them, which is partly what I love about these things. This is our 1622 model with the solid oak case and the, um, the brass bezel. How does this predict the local weather? Well, what does a barometer do? It measures the pressure of the atmosphere upon the earth in your local area. Meteorologists call that the barometric pressure. And it's indicated here around the dial in both inches, which is an older form of measurement, and in millibars, which is a newer metric form of measurement, but they're all doing the same thing. They're measuring the atmosphere. So how does a barometer work? Well, it's very simple in its construction, really. It has um, a metal cylinder inside, which is flattened, and that's what that um, metallic silver colored disc is. And if you look inside a barometer, you usually see it with um, little undulations on it. And it's, it's filled with a partial vacuum. There's a little space in the middle. And as the air pressure increases, the little disc gets crushed like a little lung. And as the air pressure decreases, it expands again. And that movement from its reading is translated into the movement of the black barometer needle under the glass. And that's the one that changes with the air pressure. It'll move one way with the rise of the air pressure and another way with the fall. And in order to know which way it's moving, we have another needle on here, which is one that we can adjust ourselves and, and mark the last position of that barometer needle. But it doesn't happen by itself. It's very, very clever in so much as it's built with a tiny amount of stickiness to the mechanism, which doesn't get released until you tap the glass, which is why you see people traditionally tapping the glass of their barometer because you want to see it move, partly because it's fun, but mainly because you want to see, is it moving to the right or to the left? Has it moved a long way or a little way? And then you can move the adjustment needle again. And then the next day when you come down, you tap the glass again, it moves and you, you readjust the needle. And day after day, you then see how your barometer is behaving. You begin to understand the air pressure changes in your area. And sometimes there will be a dramatic change in pressure and it'll fall or rise or there'll be steady increments or it'll become erratic. And understanding those movements is the key to be able to predict your local weather. And in the booklet that we supply with this and on our website, there's a good guide as to what the different movements of the needle mean in terms of the local um, weather that's going to hit you about 24 hours after you take the barometer reading, which is the great thing about it. You can see whether it's going to be a great day tomorrow or the day after by following your barometer readings. I hope that's helped. It's a simple introduction as to what this actually does. When you first get your barometer, it is important to set it up. And there's articles on our website showing you how to do that very easily. It only takes a couple of minutes. And that's when you first align this needle to what you know to be the air pressure reading in your area. And then after that point, it's calibrated and the air pressure changes the, on, the, on the needle will be correct. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you again.